Okay, really exciting uh, to share this with you, which is a work drive widget. So what this is going to do is it's going to create in a related list an actual work drive area. So it's like looking at this in work drive. So let's say if you're in a customer or something, and let's say you're looking at an account and it has this view, but it's actually in a related list within the record. So within a lead, within an account, within a deal, is you're going to have embedded. Now this video coincides with another video that we had, which is automatically creating work drive folders related to a lead, an account, and a deal. And then also a course that we have, which is on zocademy.com, which shows you how to create those folders automatically. Not only creating a lead uh, folder in, uh, in a work drive like this, in a customer list, but also when that converts, it converts it to an account. That account folder is in place and adding a new deal so the course that's on uh, zocademy.com will show you how to create a deal folder underneath the account folder and not only that a, a step further which is creating subfolders within that deal folder that gets created so all if you can imagine the efficiency of that so i would check out uh the thing that's going to blurb up here which is the other course on youtube and rumble which represents the uh the creating of folders automatically with, with a button or with a workflow and some deluge code and then also, um, I'll show it at the end of this as well. Okay, so what we're going to do on this video is we're going to create, I'm not going to, we're not going to create it. We're honestly just going to provide you what you need to install it. So this is a quick video. In the description below, not only is there a reference to the course of creating folders, but there's also a link to the Edkins Group, web, excuse me, Edkins Group website, which is where you can put in your name and your email address and what we do is we'll email you the zip file that you need to create this widget. So we're just going to quickly create the widget here and show you how it's done. But if you go to that link, put your name and email address, we will email you that zip file. That zip file, you can then install this. So this is the instructions to do that. Again, very quick here in five minutes or so. We're two minutes in. Uh, create a new widget. So if you were to go to the website for Edkins Group, click the link, email will get sent to you, and you'll have what you need to do this. So we're going to create a new widget. We're just going to call it work drive. And it is a related list. That's what we're going to pick. And then the hosting is Zoho. So again, this file upload, easy. Don't even have to think about how to create a widget. It's, we're, it's just going to be provided for you. So you can see here, here's the work drive widget. Uh, I'll show you really what the package looks like. The package is like this. And so this is what we're going to send you is this file. So you don't need to worry about the rest of it. Okay, that's all we need. Then the index that you have here is simply widget.html. That's all you have to do. Widget, HTML, add the, the, um, the file, that zip file that we provide to you. Boom, that's added there. Okay, now let's go to uh, leads. Let's go to any lead, doesn't matter. We're gonna go into Carissa, let's say. So this is very important. This work drive URL field here, if you haven't watched the other video about creating folders in, in work drive, this is very important because for this widget to work, you have to have a field that represents the work drive folder that you wanna to point to for the account or the lead or whatever here, and it has to have this wording. Capital W, work, capital D, drive, space, capital U, capital R, capital L. So it has to look like this. Otherwise, the widget will not work. I'll tell you that. So let's go ahead and add a related list. Since we already have that in there, and again, I'd watch the other video. We'll have a card at the end of this video, so you don't have to remember to rewind back or whatever. Um, so now we have this widget available. We're going to say widget. Oh, there's the work drive one. Okay, let's go ahead and install that. We're going to just call it work drive. Why not? Save. Okay, now we've added this thing called work drive. Let's go ahead and click on that. And boom. This URL that's used up here, where are we at? Right up here, this one, shows up embedded as a work drive folder. Now you can add subfolders and all that to it. It's basically just pulling in this one right here, this oh, oh my goodness, which I love that. It's funny. Okay, so that's it. We've got that. Now it's down here, and I don't know if you know how to rearrange stuff, but we're going to show you real quick here. Organize lead details. We're going to pull this work drive one up to where the attachments are. So it makes more sense. And now we've just moved it. So it's up here. 
still shows up. Okay, you might want to do the same thing for accounts, right? So let's go to accounts. And here's the cool thing about this. There is another extension that's on uh, the Zoho Marketplace that uh, does have a widget kind of like this, but it's only for standard records, standard modules. This one you can use on any module. As long as it has that work drive URL field, you're set. Um, okay, and then also, again, if you go to zoacademy.com in the course, uh, it'll go more depth about how this, is work, how this works and structured. Um, let's go ahead and add the related list here too. Again, I'm gonna, I'll show, share this with you real quick here. That work drive URL, same naming convention, right? Uh, so it's important. If you're going to add a widget to a page, you're going to need that work drive URL or it is not going to work. We'll call this one work drive as well. And then we're going to rearrange it real quick. So it's at the bottom. We're going to just move it up to the top. All right. We got it there. And then let's go ahead and do it on a deal too. Just grab one. Add related list. Add widget. I mean, this is really difficult, huh? But it's so cool. I and mean, when we provide you the, the code, you don't have to worry about learning how to do a widget, but now you've got a widget that can work on any module as long as you have a work drive URL to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and rearrange this. Organize deals. Let's go down to work drive. Bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. Save. Now we're all set. So you've got work drive here, which this one does have. Um, you can see the subfolders, and that's what we're going to show you in that uh, zoacademy.com course. If you were to do that, it's full 45 minutes. It goes in deep with how to create the folders, the subfolders, what the code looks like, walks you through the code so you understand it. It shows you how to create a button to do it, and also how to use a workflow to do the same thing to trigger on a new deal that's created to create folders. Okay, um, I think we're all set. I think this is everything we need to see. Other thing maybe to demonstrate is on the account name because of the same structure here. If I went to a different customer, like let's go to quick copy, you've got two deals here, click on a deal, now you've got subfolders. Again, that course shows you how to put that all together. Um, this work drive here in the account, you can see it has the same structure, shows the two deals that are in there, and you can drive into it, and you're an account. So just the convenience and um, how much efficiency you're gonna gain by just having this widget embedded in the record, and it's super easy, you just install that zip file and that little path, an index path, and boom, you're you're running. Uh, you know, add the related list and maneuver things or whatever. But uh, looks like you're all set. Feel free to add comments down below. Make sure you subscribe. Click the bell uh, for notifications on new videos that we're going to release. And then please, if you like this, like it. That'd be awesome. Thanks.